Based on Dobryna's triads, John Newland also classified elements and arranged them in the increasing order of their atomic masses. But he found out that the properties of every eighth element is a repetition of the properties of the first element. Let's see how did he manage to find this out. He started placing elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses. He placed hydrogen, then lithium, then beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. Then it was fluorine's turn. But he found out that fluorine shows similar properties like hydrogen. So he placed fluorine bef below hydrogen. Then it was sodium's turn. Then he found out that sodium shows similar properties like lithium. So he placed sodium below lithium. Then magnesium was placed below beryllium and so on. And the entire table was made. So from here we can find out that the properties of every first element is similar to the property of the eighth element in the list. This is what we call Newland's octave law. It states that when elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses, the properties of every eighth element is a repetition of the properties of the first element. Do you see a Dobryna's triad here in the table? Yes, it is lithium, sodium and potassium which are Dobryna's triad. Okay, let's go ahead. This law was found out in 1866, the Newland's octave law. But there were certain limitations of this law. That time, there were only 56 elements that were discovered. And Newland thought that no more elements will be discovered further. So he did not leave any place for new elements to be accommodated in his table of octaves law. The next limitation is that this rule was only applicable till calcium. As you move ahead and check the other elements, they did not follow the Newland's octave law. If we consider iron, iron is placed below sulphur, but iron does not show properties like sulphur. Another limitation was that two elements were placed in the same slot in the column of unlike elements. Like cobalt and nickel, they are metals, but they are placed together in the column of halogens. And the last limitation is that iron was placed far away from cobalt and nickel. But all three of them show similar chemical properties. You must have observed also one thing that this law is called octaves law. That is because every first element shows similar properties to every eighth element. The similar thing happens in the musical octave. 